I have always been a chunky kid. I actually don't have a TV. But we are not here to talk about my lack of basic furniture. We are here to talk about Wandako! <laughs> So that's the main selling point of this machine. I hear some of you asked me, what if I don't have a giant snowball to knock me down to lose weight? I recommend these diet slippers. This slipper will help you lose weight by walking really awkwardly and uncomfortably. But maybe you wanna lose weight, not by doing exercise using diet slippers, but controlling the amount of you eat. These bendy diet chopsticks can help your life. With bendy chopsticks, it is very frustrating to pick up the food. So in the end, you're gonna have to lose weight because you cannot eat food. Now I'm so ready to lose my weight. Believe this or not, I have always been a chunky kid. I think I was the biggest kid at school. And then I was so big, so my mom took me to a swimming pool to lose my weight. I joined the swimming club and then, and then you know, swim every day, very hard. <laughs> after, after two months, you know what? I gained weight. Because after swimming like five kilo, kilometer every day, I got so hungry. And I always went to one of the small shop that they sell octopus bowl, takoyaki. So every day after swimming pool, I ate it there. Now you know why my name is Mrs. Eats. I've had a lot of, you know, negative experience because I was very chubby and chunky. So I think I can talk about what's it like to be fat in Japan versus skinny in Japan. Think of a typical Japanese person in your head. They are usually maybe shorter or smaller. So why heavy people are treated in Japan differently? Because you cannot see such a big people easily here in Japan. According to the statistic taken by CIA in 2016, only 4.3% of Japanese are obese. This means only 4 people out of 100 are obese. But in America, 36.2% are obese. This means 36 people out of 100 are obese. And a country called Narau has 61% obese people. America, now you should be proud of not being number one. Let's take a look at what the other Japanese people eat at home. So for example, we eat a lot of seafood, a fermented food, and also low fat or low calorie foods. And also we get daily exercise more than American. For example, most of the Japanese people walk to the station and then after they get off the station, they go to school or they go to work, they usually walk or use a bicycle. We get a lot of exercise every day. Both of these points for Japanese people, it's very, very difficult to be heavy in Japan. And also being healthy and being thin is actually atarimae means a obvious thing. Everybody try to fit in and blend into society. Heavy people naturally stands out and get a lot of negative attentions, unfortunately. And of course, you know, if you are handsome or beautiful, you would stand out in a good way. But when was the last time you saw a heavy person and you say, man, I want to look like that. If you are heavy in Japan, you will get a lot of negative attention, especially from elderly or children or even your coworkers. Their gaze, their gaze is so intense that you can actually feel it. Oh, they are looking at my tummy or they are looking at my arms, they are looking at my thighs. And also in Japan, talking about someone's weight is not seen such a bad thing at all. It's almost like a greeting. Like, hi, hey, you gain weight? It's very normal, unfortunately. If you are big and then when you go to a restaurant and you are not feeling hungry, but your friend would probably say, you don't, you don't eat more? You are fat, you are supposed to eat more, eat mine. So if you are heavy here in Japan, your coworkers, your friends, they will probably grab your tummy and then shake it and oh, you have a very big tummy. <laughs> My husband friend, Japanese friend, when they met him, they always make sure to touch my husband tummy like this. Oh, so big! Sometimes they like slap it. I feel so bad seeing, you know, him being harassed, harassed by his friends. 
it's very 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 common here in Japan so when you get very close to your Japanese friends they might start rubbing your tummy like this if you're lucky none of things will happen to you but there are a lot of things that remind you that you are heavy here in Japan and makes you feel like you are a burden for others so in Japan we must take a health checkup mandatory health checkup from your childhood to adult years they check your blood eyesight hearing and obese check i heard some of my friends they get really really scared because they don't want to get obese result if you get a really bad obese result from the checkup your company will watch you to lose weight so your boss or manager or even co-workers are watching you hey have you lost any weight hey have you eating healthy these days so you would probably feel a lot of pressure in the company this is because in Japan, companies are partially responsible for employees' health. You know, if everybody is watching you and trying to tell you that you have to lose weight, you might want to try some crazy trick just so everybody will leave you alone. However, Japanese society is slowly changing. There's a very famous TV talent called Naomi Watanabe who I really love. She's a TV talent in Japan and also working in America as well. We love her. Japanese people admire her so much. And then also a person called Matsuko Deluxe. Uh, she, she is really, really big. And you might see her on the poster of beauty products here in Japan too. And also we have bigger size available. For example, like Uniqlo or Zara. Uniqlo used to have like large or extra large, but now they have like a 4X large size. So in Japan, people are getting used to see those bigger size clothing as well. This doesn't mean Japanese people are accepting being fat is healthy thing at all. But you know, Japanese people are more understanding that oh, some, some people have a bigger size, some people have a smaller size. So it's kind of like Japanese people are understanding that people have different size and it's okay. So in the end, many Japanese people think that being thin is beautiful. So let's take a look at the, some of the weirdest diet we had. One of the weirdest diet I've seen when I was little was apple diet. So all you can eat three days is apples. You can eat as much apple as you want, but you cannot eat anything else. Yay! Itadakimasu! The best part is you don't need to use bendy chopsticks to eat. If apples aren't your thing, how about balloons? Of course, you're not gonna eat balloons. This was called balloon diet and this was very popular in 90s. By blowing balloon, you use the muscle in your, on your face, so it's supposed to make your face smaller. And by blowing, also you train your core muscle you can remove the wrinkles and then get six pack at the same time. So I actually tried this balloon diet and then it didn't work. I was a chunky guy. Oh, guy. <laughs> I was still a chunky girl. One last thing I want to mention is if you are a foreigner, don't worry about too much what I said. You probably wouldn't get those negative attention from Japanese people. You know why? Because Japanese people understand that foreigners tend to be, you know, bigger than us. So you would probably get a pass. But if you are looking to lose some weight, don't worry, I have these dive slippers that will do the trick. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Okini! Okay,